morning temperature. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how to add a temperature sensor to your bike. There's a lot of bikes out there that don't tell you what the ambient temperature is. And if you are like me, I obsess about the temperature. I like to know what the conditions of the road are like by knowing what the temperature is and also whether or not I should consider adding layers of clothes or taking layers off. So if this is something that interests you, stick around and I will explain to you how to, or how I added, a temperature sensor to this bike so that I know how cold it is. All right, really the easiest way to do this, or what I found, is I purchased some refrigerator freezer thermometers with a nice big digital display. And then I'll get a, a closer view of this. Then you just cut the back of this off, the hanger and the tabs, and then use some 3M uh, camera tape or you know the GoPro mounts, things like that, and glue to the back of this, and then find some place on the dash. Uh, to mount it. I mounted uh, my thermometer right here on this uh, stock right here which holds the windscreen and the light. It just happens to be on this particular bike there was a place to put it. Should be a GPS mount that goes here, uh, extra thing. I'm not planning to put one there so I thought this would be a great place to put the thermometer. Now the nice thing I like about this is the numbers are big and it makes it really easy to see and then also because it's around the windscreen and it gets a little bit of airflow up and under the windscreen while I'm riding this will read a pretty accurate temperature if my sun if the sun is at my back then it will go up a few degrees but as long as there's airflow it seems to be pretty accurate uh, I also like this when I'm camping so at night before I go to bed I could check the temperature to see what it is outside and then also when I wake up in the morning and it feels freezing I can uh, verify that the way I'm feeling is accurate. So this is what I have done and I don't know if this will be useful to you all out there but I thought I would pass it along because temperature is really important to me while I'm traveling. At these little thermometers um, you can see the display is quite big. It has a little freeze warning on this particular one so if it starts getting pretty cold um, I'll see that. I think it's around 36 it starts showing. That, so it's just kind of an indication of what the road conditions could be like. Now the back has these hangers that's supposed to go in a refrigerator freezer. I just cut these off with razor blades to make it smooth. And then I could use these to stick on there and uh, mount it somewhere up front on the dash. Now everyone's bike is configured a little bit differently. So that will be up to you on where you want to put it. But I think I paid $7 for two of these and I've really enjoyed knowing what the temperature is while I ride. Thanks for watching. I just thought I would share this quick tip of something that I've done that's made riding a little bit better, uh, made the experience better. I obsess about things like temperature, so adding one of these is quick and easy. I'll leave a link to these down in the description if it's something you want to do. I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but um, if you do want to know what the temperature is and your bike doesn't tell you, it's just one of the ways of doing it. So get out, do some riding, and stay safe, and I will see you out there. I'm at a place called Oak Tree Lookout, and I don't know if it's locked at the top, but I'm going to find out. And it is a long way up. Yeah, it's locked. I can see the lock. Okay.